Hey everyone, Nate from Visible here, looking to give you a quick tutorial of how to make your own board updates using Visible. So we're going to start this all from scratch inside Visible. So we're going to go and take a bunch of information that we already have inside a Google spreadsheet, connect that Google spreadsheet into Visible, and then have that information, that data exported out into charts, into a dashboard, and then have those charts dropped into a update to be able to send out to your board. We've had this request sent to us uh, several times about you know, wanting to be able to do board updates. How do we do that? Is there a structure for it? Uh, any advice we can give? So we thought we'd go and put together this quick uh, tutorial for everyone to see. A big thing for us that we've heard is people that are sending out frequent updates, You know, even though they may not be like huge, massive updates, but frequent updates out to their stakeholders. So you know, quick team updates or investor or board updates is a really great, really great way to be able to keep everyone engaged and takes up a lot less of your time. And so we're just going and figuring the last couple of pieces of charts from our data. This used to be about a six minute video and we made it a little faster. So, you know, within six minutes, you can go and have all of your data float into visible, have it charted out and look really awesome. So you can see here we have a few different chart types being able to visualize everything out as you need to. We're going to be using Pied Piper as an example for this. So I hope I'm not having any spoilers. Jumping into our update section, we already have a template set up. We're already going to just going to go and duplicate that template. The template just has some structure for text in there that we're just going to be able to go and expand on. Easy way for you to be able to keep a consistent update and prevent yourself from having to rethink how to do each update or uh, looking at previous ones to have everyone, you know, be able to be on the same page. So just having in the intro here, hey everyone, you know, I just want to let everyone know how everything's going before the board meeting. So just going to drop that text in there. We look at the product information here. Uh, past 10 days, I've had over 100,000 downloads. That's been great. Also been accepted into the Huli App Store. So it's going to put those pieces in there. I want to add in a couple of charts here. We'll put in streams compressed, since that is our focus on our growth metric. Also just going to drop in that number of downloads, so we can see that. Taking a look at our team section, uh, just giving everyone a heads up that uh, we've changed up our board seating. Uh, Ehrlich is no longer on the board, adding in Jared instead. Uh, also for engineering, looking at hiring uh, two to three more engineers, currently have a full-time engineer in Palo Alto. Uh, also filling in the PR position by uh, Ehrlich Bachman, so keeping him still close to the team. And then we're just going to add in headcount there so that uh, we can have everyone kind of see how that's progressing. On the business side, <clears throat> the uh, plan is to continue to grow out the platform, neural network, with AI to be able to have everything created faster. Huli App Store is a great piece to have with showing that we are the number one middle out compression software with N-Frame as well, as well being disbanded. Putting those pieces in there, just adding in a quick business update. Obviously this will be updated at the end of the month from Jared. Down to the last piece that we have for asks and needs, um, obviously any engineers is a great fit to have, so I just want to drop that in there. Uh, also going to be moving out of Ehrlich's house as our office space in the next two weeks, so looking to go and finalize a new location. Any suggestions would be great. So now we're just overlooking everything. Uh, if we want to see how this looks to us, we can go and send a test email. And we also have a contact list already set up with all of our board members. We're just going to save and exit this since we need to go into that contact list and edit that information. So then we have to take Ehrlich out of that since he is no longer a board member. And we're going to look and have uh, Jared added in as a board member to put him on this uh, contact list. So just putting that information in right there. That adds him in, and I'm just going to go and customize this out to actually put his name in there. And obviously we should use his actual name in whatever way he really wants it to be shown. So adding that in there, just saved it. 
I'm going to go back into our updates. You can see that we have it right there. I'm going to edit that quick. And now we can just look and review this, edit this if we need to. And let's go into the two section, add the board. And then we can send it from there. So I hope you guys found this uh, little tutorial informative uh, and great. If you have any comments, please drop them below. Or if you have any comments, send them out to us at support at visible.vc. And thank you and have a great day.